apologies in advance if this accent that I've been about to use for Carlos is offensive, but it said accent, so I mean, hell, here, here we go. 50 minutes until the aerial bombing of Undisclosed. John, reading the expression on my face, said, You two know each other? Carlos answered for me, saying, We were over in a quarantine together. And I said, Are you... Uh, and you are... You're like he, her, right? No, not like her. What I mean is, she's not like me. She won't hurt you. She hasn't hurt anybody. Not like me. So, you're the one who... Not in front of her, but yes. But you want us to believe that we're safe. From you, I mean... There's a lot about the situation that you do not understand. In quarantine, they were using you to sort the infected from uninfected, right? But you can't really do it. Not like I can. Me? I can see them. As easy as telling man from woman. I can see it at a glance. Alright, but I don't understand. There isn't time. Let me just say that I can tell you what I know, but you don't want to know it. About who is and isn't infected, I mean. And when I say you don't want to know... I'm not trying to up the suspense. I'm saying that you don't want to know. It won't make doing what you need to do any easier. It won't make it easier for you to live in the world. I started to ask a question, but stopped myself. I tried to absorb that what he was saying. Finally, I said, Dr. Marconi, he uh, hinted to me that there may be more infected than everybody thinks. Let's say he's right. Let's say he's really, really right. Now, we have to ask ourselves what that word means. Infected. Infected like me? Or like my Anna here? I had no answer. I tried to weigh the implications of this and couldn't begin to. Molly had joined Anna, and the little girl was scratching her behind the ears. Or infected like Dr. Bob Tennant. You mean he's, he's something else altogether? When I look at him, you know what I see? A black cloud. I don't even see a man. Do you understand what I'm saying? He's not a man. And maybe neither am I, and maybe that doesn't mean anything anymore. But I'm going to say this to you, David, and to your friends here. Tenant is more dangerous than a million of me. He and the people he works for, they figured out how to use a signal, inaudible sound waves to affect people like me. Turn us, make us lose control. I'm telling you, when left to myself, I, I can control it. The parasite, it whispers in my ear, but I can, I I can overcome it. You just got to have the will to put that cockroach in its place. I said, so we're supposed to just turn our backs on you and walk out, knowing all the people who are, I glanced at Anna, who are uh, gone because of you. I'm supposed to just let that go. And you're going to just, what, go back to work next week? Everything back the way it was? I'm all she's got. Her mother is gone, and she has to deal with her condition on top of that. Well, she's going to have a life, the life a little girl should have, and she's going to learn how to live with this. Who else is going to teach her? Who else will understand? He nodded at John and said, so what, you want your friend to shoot me with his sawed-off five-barrel shotgun, and then Anna either gets rounded up by the government and dissected in a laboratory, or torn to pieces by that mob out there? No, you won't do that to her. I know you won't. I groaned and rubbed my forehead. John said, Okay, can somebody quickly just summarize for the shotgun department who it's okay and not okay to shoot? Carlos said, The world doesn't make it that simple for us, friend. I said, Yeah, if somebody tries to make a video game based on this situation, I'm telling you right now, I'm not fucking buying it. Carlos stood and took Anna's hand in his own. I said, And I still don't... I mean, I didn't think children could get infected. Dummy. She's not infected like the rest of us. She's been this way for years. This isn't new. How can you, of all people, not know that? I... I guess... I... John said, Well, I'm lost. I said, Marconi. He had infected patients he was studying, but he had this theory that some of us would literally never turn. That the parasite could just... live there. John said, So what, we just accept that? These invisible bugs multiplying inside people and we can just shrug and move on? Knowing that any day any random person can just murder the shit out of a room full of people? Carlos just shrugged and said, That's been the situation for longer than you know. Way longer. You need to ask yourself, Are you even sure all of you are uninfected? Amy said, 
We're sure. Are you? Your man there. He spent a lot of time in town, in quarantine, in the basement of this place. He can't even account for his own whereabouts for the last week or so. You 100% sure he came out of all that clean? John shrugged and said, Eh, he wasn't all that clean before. No offense, Dave. Fuck you, John. To Amy, Karlov said, I'm not joking. I'm not joking, you know. How would you truly know? I said, she knows what I am. But if you were infected, you would deny it. Carlos, she knows what I am. Silence. Then he nodded and said, All right then. Now, aren't you going to let my Anna and all the rest like her get burned up in the hellfire they rained down on this place? Amy said, We have to stop the bombs. I rubbed my eyes and sighed. How can that possibly be our responsibility? John said, There's a way. Everything Tennant said in his press conference is bullshit. The streets out there aren't full of shambling hordes. They're full of all-American types carrying hunting rifles and protecting women and children. The reason Tennant had to lie is because he knew he'd never sell the public on those people being zombies. We just gotta show them. I said, and then when those all-American Joes get out and some of them fucking turn into monsters, what happens then? Amy said, then we will once again... Uh, on the side of not letting people be murdered. You take the choice in front of you, and then you keep picking the non-murder choice as long as you can. I said, and that is why I wanted you to stay home. John said, we have to shut down their cell phone jammer. 20,000 cell phones and cameras and internet connections will suddenly blink to life. Then people can call and email and upload videos, and that'll be that. The lid will be off their whole charade. Took a moment to figure out what John had said because he pronounced it charade. Amy said, Then the president will realize he can't bomb the town without losing a bunch of votes next election. I said, Setting aside the fact that we now have less than an hour to accomplish this, and that will be gunned down the moment we set foot outside this building, do you have any way to find out where the jammer even is? Well, I think there's only one place it can be. It needs line of sight, right? Okay. So it needs to be someplace high. The highest point they can get it. Where's that? Well, it'd be somewhere around the water tower, right? For the same reason. The water tower needs line of sight. It needs to be at the highest point. Oh. Because the gravity pushes the water down, and that's what makes the water come out of your faucet. Yes, right. I absolutely knew that before right now. John said, Shit, we saw it. That big-ass black semi they had parked out there. They had it in place the first day. So fine, let's go fuck that shit up. To Carlos, Amy said, Can you lead us out of here? We don't have a flashlight.